Hey guys, it's Kelly here again and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a different type of video. Today I wanted to share with you a book haul, but because I didn't want to record my face, you're getting a tabletop book haul. I checked on my channel and I realized that the last time I did a haul was last spring basically the exact same time that i'm doing it now only one year prior so because i haven't done it in so long i have accumulated quite a few books i've been to two i think book fairs so um yeah i have quite a few books i actually have even more than i'm showing you but because i was in the process of moving to a new apartment some of them are actually there and i don't have them with me so they'll be hauled in a different video because i I was planning on moving to the other apartment and um, because of the whole quarantine situation and the coronavirus I have not yet moved so I only have half of the books but there's still quite a bit so yeah let's just get into it the first book that I'm going to be talking about is this one so this is Out Walkers by Fiona Shaw and why I'm talking about this right now and why is this the first book that I'm talking about is because I remember briefly what it is when I bought it I remember what it was and uh, now I reread the synopsis and I thought it was very fitting for our current situation so basically this takes place in the UK in Britain and for some reason the UK is under lockdown and nobody is allowed to leave so our main character over here escapes his orphanage and he um, rescues his dog and they go sort of on an adventure they're kind of outlaws and they get roped into some gangs and i guess things start unraveling and happening from there that's basically all i know about the book as i said i thought due to the lockdown right now i think uh, it's a very fitting read to be fair i have heard some iffy things about it on booktube but if you've read this and you have some opinions comment down below to let me know what you think the next book I have is The Diviners by Libba Bray. As you can see, this is the Bulgarian version. It's, well, clearly in Bulgarian. It's a beautiful cover. I think this is, this is a pretty old book, to be fair. I think it's a sort of booktube um, cult favorite and a lot of people here know it and love it. I don't know much about it but because it reminded me a little bit as a concept to Ace of Shades which I really love I wanted to give it a go and see what I think. It's um, as you can see it's very art deco and reminiscent of the 20s. As far as I know it takes place in New York in the early 1920s and the jazz scene, the movie scene, and I think there's also magic. So that's basically all I know about it. It's a trilogy, I believe, or there's a few books. This is the first one. It's very beloved. I think it's very interesting and I honestly can't wait to give it a go. The next book that I have is The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. So this, as you can tell, I don't know if you can, maybe you can, but I am 40% in on this and I'm actually loving it. I am absolutely loving it. So in some places, this is called the seven and a half thefts by Evelyn Air Castle. Here they translate it as the seven thefts. It is a thriller, mystery th thriller with a sci-fi spin on it. So the main character wakes up in this Victorian mansion and he is one of the guests there he has lost his memories he's preparing for a ball the following evening on this ball our daughter the daughter of the owner of the mansion Evelyn her castle dies and our main character discovers that he actually needs to find out who killed her and what happened so he can escape the mansion. The twist here is that every day he relives this exact same day and every morning he wakes up in the body of a different guest from this house. So it sounds very interesting as a concept and it is also incredibly interesting for the 40% that I've gotten into it. I am absolutely loving it and I will let you know what I think more when I finish it. 
The next book that I have is another second parter, which is Tony Adeyemi's Children of Virtue and Vengeance. I read Children of Blood and Bone last year and I absolutely fell in love with it. I think it's an amazing start to the series. So this is the second book and I think it came out in March 2020. I got it as soon as I found out it was available on Amazon. As you can see, it is absolutely gorgeous and stunning. It is also quite a bit smaller than the first one. I don't know how well you can tell. The second one, I mean the first one was like this big I think. It was quite a bit heftier. Um, but this is a second in the trilogy if I'm not mistaken. So the inspiration for the magic system is African mythology and it takes place in a magical realm where our main character that you can see on the cover, Zaley, has lost her magical abilities because the king has issued an order that no magic will being should exist. So some things happen and she actually accidentally um, unlocks her magic and then she goes on an adventure to bring magic back to her world and basically save the kingdom. So that is the first book. I absolutely loved it. It was an amazing start to a series. So I absolutely love this world. I love the books and I can't wait to start this one. Next up is a book I got just two days ago and that is Spellslinger by Sebastian de Castell. I know very little about it. That's, that's all I'm gonna say. I know absolutely nothing. I think it again is reminiscent of Ace of Shades and that's why I was drawn to it. It has something to do with con artists and poker and card games and magic. So that's all I know. Again, this is a first in the series and there was a booktuber, um, Jade, that absolutely loves this book and she's been raving about it for so long. So I wanted to check it out and that's why I got it and um, yeah, we'll see how it goes and I'll let you know what I think. Next up I have the most beautiful book that I currently own and that is Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. Now I can't even fit it in the screen and um, this has been everywhere I think. If you're on booktube you know about this book. It is a hardcover and this is actually the um, second hardcover that I have in my collection. I don't do a lot of hardcovers in Bulgaria. They're not popular. People don't, they don't do hardcovers. <laughs> so this one I ordered online and it is absolutely stunning. And this is a fantasy standalone. Thank God, because I am so done with everything being a series. I just want standalones. So this is the first thing that caught my eye when I was looking into this book that it's a standalone and it's about our main character who is working in a magical library. This magical library holds these giant grimoires that have magic beings in them or demons in them, something along those lines. And she wants to become a warden, which is a person who guards these grimoires. But one day something happens and the most powerful grimoire gets loose and she is supposed to find out why she gets roped into some conspiracies and she has to save the magical realm. Apparently there's also a romance, so if you're into that, check this book out. But yeah, this is um, this is the book, Sorcery of Thorns, one of the most beautiful books I've ever seen and I, it's kind of hefty, not gonna lie, it's pretty big, so I don't know when I'm going to get to it, but hopefully it'll be soon and again, I will let you guys know what I think. Okay, so the next few books are a bit more weird, that's why I left them for the last part. So I'm going to talk about three that are kind of strange for maybe you guys to see in my collection or just in any collection in general and then I'm going to be talking about some comic books and graphic novels. So the first weirder book that I have is Wabi Sabi by Francis Marlis. Marlis? Mirales. I don't know. No, it's, it's right there. <laughs> so this is a Spanish author and my phone is going off. I am so sorry if you can hear that. As I said, this is a Spanish author who um, writes about Samuel who has, at the age of 35 I believe, has um, broken things off with his fiance or she left them, something along those lines. He is heartbroken and he embarks on a journey to Japan where he basically finds himself and finds the meaning 
to life and beauty. So if you're new to my channel, you probably don't notice, but if you're not new, you know that I am absolutely obsessed with Japan. I am currently studying Japanese. And when I read this book, it's also a very, very tiny one. So when I read this book, I thought that this was just perfect for me. So what I got from grazing through the chapter titles, apparently he encounters different Japanese traditional things, historical things, um, food, and I guess this is sort of like essays about how he views them. So there's Kyoto, um, there's chapters about Tokyo, there's about wasabi, and um, there's, uh, uh, I guess he climbs Fujiyama. It's a very small book. It's, I'm guessing, going to be a very wholesome and quick read, so I am definitely excited to give it a go. The next weirder book that I have is this one. This is The Art of War by Sun Tzu, and I am sure that absolutely everyone knows what this is. There's no need for me to explain it. I saw this. I thought it was a gorgeous edition. I figured that I don't have it in my collection, so I wanted to have it. And um, yeah, again, this is a hardcover, which is a, it's a tiny hardcover, but still a hardcover in my collection. And um, yeah, I am eager to read this and uh, see what I think. The next one is probably the weirdest one I have for you today, and that is The Evidence of Gods. And this is by Erich von Däniken. And <laughs> this is this is a funny story. So if you're if you've seen uh, my very first book where I talk about my favorite books, I mentioned that I love conspiracy theories and I love aliens and I love ancient aliens. And this guy is one of the authors who appears on Ancient Aliens. So this is a very short book that talks about the existence of aliens within our history and. I, that's basically all I know about it. I actually have a few more books, not from him, but uh, from Charles Childerson, was it? Who is also an author from Ancient Aliens, who appears on Ancient Aliens. Um, and yeah, I just, I love conspiracy theories and uh, I guess I'll tell you what I think if you're interested, but that's the one I have. Again, beautiful cover. Next up, I'm going to be talking about some comic books and graphic novels that I have, and let's just get into it. The first one I have is Strange Planet by Nathan Pyle. At least I think that's how you pronounce it. This one, this artist I follow on Facebook and on Instagram. I absolutely love his Strange Planet comic books and just every every drawing and comic book that he has. I love his simplistic style. I love his sense of humor. This one is a collection of such, um, you know, comic books. I don't know, they're comic panels more like it. As you can see, they're very simplistic, but they're extremely funny. And basically it's about aliens that discover um, everyday life and everyday things on Earth and their reaction to them. For instance, discovering cats. I found this, it's vibrating. And it's adorable, I absolutely love it. And I just, that's, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm so happy to have this tiny little gem in my collection. Next up is something that I was waiting for for so long, and that is Teen Titans Raven by Cami Garcia and more particularly illustrated by Gabriel Piccolo. I love Piccolo's artwork. I have been following him ever since his um, deviant art days. I absolutely love his art style and I, when I heard he was illustrating something about Raven, she's actually my favorite from the Teen Titans, I just had to have it. And um, this is, I, I don't know, I haven't read it yet, but I think it's Raven in the very beginning before she joins Teen Titans. And um, as you can see, the art style is just amazing. Um, I love, as I mentioned, everything that he does. If you want to follow him, I will link him down below because he's definitely worth it. I aspire to draw more like him in the future and uh, that's basically all I'm going to say about this. His next book by, again, Cami Garcia and illustrated by him is going to be Beast Boy, uh, which it has a sample chapter on the back. But yeah, can't wait and can't wait to read this. Next up, I have Middle West by Scully Young and George Corona. Great. <laughs> that is a on brand name for the situation right now. So I 
read the first chapter of this one. I did not know. I went in completely blind. I did not know what this was about. I still don't know what this is about. But the art style just grabbed me so hard. And I had to have this. As I'm going to show you in a second. It's very sketchy. But also very expressive and very colorful he uses shades and colors in the most amazing way he she he i guess it's he he uses the uh, art it's just the, the colors the concept everything is just so beautiful and i actually again don't know much about the story what i got from the first chapter we have our little boy who abel i think his name was who is trying his best not to be a bad child because his father that you can see on the cover is kind of mean and um there his mother has disappeared i think or is not just not around and he some things happen and i think he escapes from home and joins a traveling circus there's also a talking fox and there's also this giant monster wind monster that um goes after abel and is trying to get him there's also i think magic i'm not sure but yeah he escapes from home he joins a traveling circus of some sort and so far it's very interesting and i am very eager to continue and see what i think i mean look at this look at this owl it's gorgeous and the last book that i have is invisible planets no sorry it's invisible kingdom by Willow Wilson and Christian Ward. So this is a sci-fi comic book novel, no sorry, a sci-fi graphic novel, I guess, that I again don't know much about. It's very very sparse on its descriptions, but as you can see it's absolutely beautiful. It's a lot different in terms of art style than the other one that I just showed you because it's very simplistic and they rely mostly on shapes and colors it's still incredibly beautiful and i absolutely fell in love with it and it is about um a conspiracy our two main characters find out about a weird conspiracy and uh, the conspiracy is between their main religion and a giant corporation so that is everything i know about this i'm guessing they're going to um cover some things that are going to make them potential targets and they're gonna have to escape and um i don't know bring down the conspiracy to reveal everything so that's my guess it's amazing it's beautiful and i can't wait to give it a go okay so that's everything for today guys i hope my I hope my bracelets don't jingle way too much on the desk for the microphone uh, if they do i will lower it down as a volume but i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's been a little bit different um i hope you like the books that i showed you if you have any opinions about them let me know in the comment section down below also if you guys want to see more videos like this one and more of my face check out my channel and be sure to subscribe so thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye